All right, Mr. Sotko here, and welcome back to another Warcraft 3 replay cast. Today it's a 2 vs 2 on Twisted Meadows. It consists of our first team, our blue orc player, Ready Grubby, orc. and our teal orc player, Klimo. And down at the bottom, we have our red team that's going to consist of Nediquad and Lukey Ghost. And Merry Christmas, everybody. Happy holidays. Hope you guys are all enjoying your gifts and receiving and your food and family and all that stuff. So uh, my Christmas gift to you, of course, is going to be a replay cast. And I'm sure you guys might be watching it on all your cool new devices and, uh, you know, all that stuff. But uh, either way, two minute mark. Heroes on their way out. Archmage for a Nidiquad. Archmage for a Ghost. And it's going to be a Shadow Hunter for the first hero for Grubby, which is a very interesting choice. Shadow Hunter for Klimo as well. And really interesting choices to start with two Shadow Hunters. Don't think I've ever seen that before in one of my replays. But uh, two Archmages on the way to Grubby's base. And I can color the other team red, but I cannot color um, both of these teammates blue, just because there are no observers in the match for me to uh, have the vision from. Tons of water elementals here, all going after Grubby's burrow. And I got a micro in and out here, one peon very, very, very low. And looks like Grubby will lose this. Maybe so close yet so far. And one of the water elementals now down. Scout tower coming up. And Grubby is still holding onto this burrow. Just barely. Now the footman going down. And I think it will be just fine now without that extra damage. The Shadow Hunters hexing the units. Keep some of that DPS down. The water elementals will despawn here shortly, and that will be it for this first attack. We'll hold on to the burrow for now, but some more towers coming up on the bottom side of Grubby's base. A couple guard towers on the way, but they still got some time. And I will vigorously attack these towers, canceling them. And the tower rush hath been thwarted. Keep on the way, and not quite tier two yet. For his ally, and Archmage has been hexed, but uh, nothing really around to surround that Archmage. Scroll of speed popped, but uh, again, nothing really around to surround. Just got one of those grunts in that speed. Doing some good damage to the Archmage though, but uh, 66 health and we'll get away. And now all the grunts on the offense after the failed attack from our red team. Team human versus team orc. Which is a pretty nice, nice little somewhat mirror match. Lots of towers coming up here for Nidiquad, but some of them may not complete Serpent Wards for Grubby. So no healing way for Grubby, so interesting that he chose to get Serpent Wards, but uh, doing some pretty decent damage here to the Guard Tower. And now three Serpent Wards all attacking the Guard Tower. I think it should be just fine though. Serpent Ward's going down now. DPS will decrease. And the peasants will successfully repair that. Archmage looks like he is not gonna make it. However, we do have some towers up now to defend themselves. Footman fleeing into the main base here. Archmage being revived. And the other Archmage being revived as well, so both Archmages down for the human. Shadowhunter still going strong. And looks like both players went Serpent Wards and Hex. And 
now triple watchtower is coming up at the human base. Fire Lord out for Klimo. Work complete. Work complete. Gonna be a Shadow Hunter Work and a complete. Fire Lord. Complete. So interesting combination indeed. This game, a very interesting Christmas special, if you will. And this is actually a brand new replay. This was uploaded today. It was uploaded very, very early today. I think like maybe two in the morning. So it was technically today. And a Beastmaster or Ghost now heading towards the base of Klimo. It's totally undefended at the moment. And Windrider's coming out from the Beastiary. And now gonna start burrowing up and repairing. Is there going to be a town portal to defend this or not? Looks like Grubby going after Ghost Base. So an eye for an eye there. Now Ghost or Klimo back to defend his base. The Windrider is now out to help defend, but the Footmen have defend as well. And so it will be very tough for the Windrider to actually do any sort of significant damage to these Footmen. And now a Town Portal out to defend his base from Grubby Beastmaster goes down. Ghost loses his second hero. Grubby with no second hero at the moment. Over Fire Lord and Shadow Hunter still going strong for Klimo. And Footman going at it with the grunts here, but definitely gonna lose that battle. Footman slightly inferior in that defend. Doesn't really do too much against that melee damage. Water element is taken out there. And now the Wind Rider is going to have a heyday with the footmen here. They could defend and try and get away, but they might just take more damage in that process. Lava spawns on out. Like one just might have split. Not sure. Maybe just summon that one. Who knows? Don't really catch it. And now Grubby going to Town Portal out of his base. And we'll run down to the Voodoo Lounge there and heal on up. You know, a Fire Lord for Netaquad. So multiple Fire Lords on the map here. Multiple Lava Spawns. And unfortunately, Serpent Wards, sort of a bad choice against the footmen of the human players as they don't do much of anything against them. Now Klimo on the run here, both players moving after Klimo. And Grubby going to come from the side here and possibly flank from the rear. A hex on that Archmage stops some of the damage for a moment. We're under attack. And I'm not sure how well this double Shadow Hunter is going to work out considering they are against both human players that have both both have footmen and both have defend as well. We're under attack. Damage output of the Serpent Ward severely diminished. Netaquad, Fire Lord in a little bit of trouble here. Should be able to make it away though. And now Demolisher is out for Grubby. And Beastmaster taking a couple of extra hits there. Needs to back up. And Shadow Hunter gets surrounded. We'll have to town portal out of there if he wants to save that Shadow Hunter. Shadow Hunter super low and will town portal out to save his life. And Grubby's grunts very, very low. Scroll speed barely saves that grunt. 16 health. And now both players going after Grubby. Demolishers in a bit of trouble here. And now a town portal will send Ghost back to his base. But Netaquad still going after these Demolishers. Pretty strong, like no second hero out for Grubby. Still, 
Shadowhunter still dropping Serpent Wards. Uh, once again, doesn't do too much. Footmen not in defend. They take a decent chunk of damage, but uh, once they defend, it is pretty much useless. There's too much damage reduction and too little damage on the Serpent Wards to really make too much of a difference there. And Krupp, he says eight catapults soon. And it's making them two by two. And so four more catapults on the way, four on the map. Four plus four is eight for anybody that didn't know that. And I'm just kidding there. But uh, getting ready to attack the base of Netaquad. And looks like Griffin's on the way. Nope, going to be Dragonhawk Riders to stop these Wind Riders, which uh, makes sense. I guess I should have guessed that right off the bat. Quad Demolisher is going to wreck the barracks something pretty fast. And almost no creeping this game. And Netta was going to creep that Magi camp, but didn't quite get the chance. Nobody has had the chance to creep. I don't think any creeps have gone down this map. Maybe a couple, but uh, that is uh, somewhat unusual. Now the battle really kicking into full gear here. To so many demolishers in the back. Two upgraded as well, so they do incredible damage. And the Windrider is up front here dealing with the Wraithmen, trying to get rid of those as soon as possible. And the Serpent Wards make it a little difficult to get around. There are so many Serpent Wards. Klimo's Fire Lord here, a little bit surrounded, but uh, makes it out in time. Now the Militia starting to get all up onto the Demolishers, and there are so many Serpent Wards on the map, it's just you can't even tell what they're even firing at, it's just going all over the place here, but the Footmen are defending, and once again, it doesn't do too much damage, and looks like our red team GG's out, leaving Grubby and Klimo the winner, and surprisingly they did win with double Shadow Hunter, but uh, I don't think they were expecting double uh, defending Footmen. And maybe they were, but uh, either way, there were so many Serpent Wards, it started to be actually quite a bit of damage, and the aerial shackles didn't pay off in the end, couldn't make them fast enough. Too many Wind Riders, too many Demolishers, there were about eight Demolishers at the end there, and that can almost, almost one-shot any building just by simply volleying one or two times maybe, and uh, the building will be less than half health. So that is a lot of siege damage out but uh, so really, really interesting combination. Fire Lord and an Archmage, an Archmage and a Beastmaster, and ju just one Shadow Hunter for a Grubby and a Shadow Hunter and a Fire Lord. So very interesting match for this Christmas day. But I hope you guys have a good Christmas and all that such. Hope you guys got everything you wanted and hope you guys gave everything that you wanted to give to your family, friends, and whatnot. And if you don't celebrate Christmas, well, maybe you have the day off today. And uh, that's a gift in itself. I hope you guys enjoyed the replay, and I will see you guys next time.